Hey everyone, Chris G here, and today I want to talk about the Dell Optiplex. Little mini, little mini computer. So cute, little tiny little thing. Um, what I wanted to discuss was basically the practicality of a mini desktop, and if basically it's something that people should even pay any attention to, uh, much less buy. All right, so Dell is not the only company that makes a little mini computer. You also have, of course, Lenovo's Think Center, HP's got a little mini pavilion, and then of course, Apple has their infamous Mac Mini. Uh, now, why would somebody want a little mini desktop? Now, honestly, you know, that's a little bit tough because like, if you're a person that wants any kind of like upgradability in their machine where they wanna be able to adjust things like space, graphics card, that kind of thing, obviously you need to go with a slightly bigger form factor. But that's a very specific kind of person, and most people, arguably, are not looking for upgradability in their computers anymore. Generally speaking, when somebody gets a new machine, you know, they get it with the RAM they need, the storage they needed, they use it until it dies, and like, it's, it's, that's the way it is. That's just sort of the way the paradigm of the computer world has shifted. It's unfortunate that these things aren't that upgradable anymore, but nevertheless, it's just the way that it is. Anyway, so in comes then the little mini desktop, and why? I like this form factor is because even though it doesn't offer necessarily the same kind of upgradability, although there, um, there is a small caveat to that, um, it just does everything most people need it to do, but in a very small and efficient package. So what I like is that you've got in terms of like your IO, I mean this Dell Optiplex, for example, I mean you've got four USB super speeds on the back, uh, you've got two display ports, some of them even come with HDMI of course, you got USB-C on the front, another USB super speed port on the front. If you're just a person looking to do general productivity work, and you know that's like basically like accountants, maybe data entry, somebody that's doing like email, internet, this kind of thing, rather than take up like a whole desk, like tabletop or even like a little cabinet, you just have this nice little thing that you can even, probably even attach to the back of your monitor, much less just have it kind of sitting underneath it or kind of off to the side. And that's kind of a nice thing is because this thing isn't taking up a, a ton of room on your desk. There's potentially even fewer cables for it. You do have like the one power cable, but ultimately most of these things have wireless built in. You can of course use a wireless keyboard and mouse. Some of them have IO on it where you can put like a, um, a camera card reader on the front too. So if you're somebody that's just doing some like general Photoshop work, Lightroom, that kind of thing, frankly, you'll do pretty well with one of these little mini desktops. Now, in terms of which ones I like, um, I would stay clear from anything HP. That's just a rule of thumb I have, so just in general. But in terms of like this and the Lenovo, um, I do think I like the Dell Optiplexes a little bit better. Um, I don't quite know why. Ultimately, they're both very, very similar on the inside. I just feel like I've had a little bit better longevity in terms of experience with the Dell Optiplexes and the Lenovos, but the Lenovo Think Centers are pretty decent. Uh, and then of course you've got Apple's Mac Mini, which uh, frankly these days is kind of a bargain, especially with these new you know, M1, M2, M3 chips that they're tossing in. You just have an incredibly small form factor that's frankly very, very powerful. Um, now in terms of this Dell Optiplex, you are able to adjust things like the storage. So some of the newer models, you can change out the NVMe of course. This one has a two and a half inch slot, so you can either put a solid state drive in there, bigger hard drive, get the idea. Um, you can also modify the RAM on here to go up to like, let's say 16 gigs, some models even support 32. So by all accounts, the only thing you're really missing from one of these mini machines is maybe like a dedicated graphics card. Otherwise they're pretty powerful. And again, I would argue that there's not a whole lot that you can't do with one of these things. But, and here is the big catch, they're not the cheapest things in the world. The Dell Optiplexes, even the Lenovo Think Centers, on average, brand new, are sort of flirting with the $600 and above price. And I think for what you're getting, that is, ripoff isn't the right word, but that's not very good bang for your buck. But a little hack. If you go to eBay, or even like Newegg, or maybe even like Staples, something like that, you can sometimes find these things refurbished. You can probably get one of these things with like, let's say an eighth generation uh, either an Intel i7 or i5, this one has an i5 in it, but you can get usually like an 8th generation, um, maybe even like 9th gen uh, models, and you can probably find them for anywhere between 200 and 250 bucks. 
And as soon as you start getting into that price range, I think what you're getting is frankly outstanding value. And would, I mean, probably be good for, again, like 90% of users. Somebody that just needs a basic machine to kind of do what they need. Um, you know, again, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, multiple Chrome windows. Um, you probably could do maybe like a little bit of light gaming on here, like Minesweeper, maybe even Minecraft. Uh, but ultimately you just have sort of like a no frills, but just efficient desktop computer that's easy to service, easy to repair, because the lids do crack open, and I'll show some B-roll here in a minute of this thing, of us opening this thing up, but ultimately an easy to, easy to open, easy to service computer that does what you need it to do, and for frankly a pretty decent price, as long as you're maybe buying this thing either used or refurbished. So anyway, that is the Dell Optiplex, and that is also our opinion of the Dell, or, or of just mini computers in general. Uh, we hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we will be back with another video really soon.